to my channel. Today, as you can see, I am wearing sequins because this is a celebratory video because I am about to tell you what is my absolute favorite, favorite ever drugstore foundation. Yay! So I hear you ask, what is this product that is worth all this sparkles? Well, the wait is officially over. The foundation that I think I love the most from the drugstore is by Bourjois Paris and it is their City Radiance Skin Protecting Foundation. Brightening effect. <laughs> now it is from Bourjois Paris. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. My French is terrible. Is that even how you say that? And it is their City Radiance Foundation. Now this is their Skin Protecting Foundation. It does have SPF 30 in. It is supposed to protect you from all the city debris and all that jazz. Now this is their Brightening Effect Foundation and it is supposed to leave you with a very fresh and even complexion. So I am going to show you how I apply this foundation. I'm going to show you how this looks on my face in natural daylight and I'm going to show you how the foundation looks with other products applied on top. It's not going to be a long video so don't worry. Wait, I don't know if I told you the price. This bad boy retails for £9.99 in the UK, I don't know about in the US. Um, it has been out for a while now, I think maybe three or four years. Now I will say this is not my foundation shade, I am using the shade beige, it is a little bit too pale for me, um, so I think I will have to go out and buy the next one up. But yeah, it's as simple as that, so, whoops, I'll pick it up from the floor, <laughs> let's get started. Woo. So like I said, I do have the shade 4, now that is beige, I do think this might be a tiny bit light for me. As you can see, I've just put it on to the back of my hand like this. Now it's not moving very much. You can see it, it does have that very strong whole consistency. I'm going to start by dabbing this all in places over my head. It does have a slight scent to it. I would call it like drugstore makeup scent, which sounds really odd. It's actually quite a nice scent on this one though. It's not overpowering, um, just for anyone that doesn't like scents. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to start blending it in. Now, as you can see, it's a medium coverage. It's not a completely full coverage. But it is going on, it is going on really smoothly and really nicely, which I adore. My skin isn't feeling too thick with makeup, it's feeling quite soft. It feels more like a tinted moisturiser as opposed to a foundation. Okay, so as you can see that has gone on really, really, really smoothly. I do need to put a tiny bit more on, on my forehead because it did run out. So now I'm happy with the way that the Zoeva brush has buffed that into my skin. I'm literally just going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to dab it over the top of my foundation just so I get that really flawless finish on the top and that's it that's it all applied so I am going to give you a very up close and personal view of my face right now with this foundation on now as you can see I did have a few mini marks before I did apply the foundation so you can see how so you can see there that it's a very medium coverage it's not a full matte finish now my skin does look quite soft quite refreshing quite juicy and plump as opposed to matte and dried down. I am now going to go take you outside so you can see how this looks in natural daylight. So like I said, it really is a miserable day out here today, so you're not really going to see what it looks like in full daylight, but you will get to see how it does look like outside in this gorgeous grey weather. <laughs> here is how this foundation looks in natural day light. As you can see, it still looks very smooth. It is giving me some really nice coverage. Definitely a different, it's definitely the wrong colour for me though, like I've already said, but just so you can see how it actually looks outside and not in front of a ring light. Okay, enough of this because people are going to think I am mental for wearing sparkles on the balcony in the rain. So yeah, <laughs> let's go back inside. Right, so now we are back inside and I have added some makeup over the top just so you can see how products apply onto the foundation. Now it does say on the packaging that it applies fresh and evenly and I will say it does do that because when I apply products on top, they apply so smoothly and really, 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 really nicely. Honestly, I will give you a close up so you can see for yourself. Yeah, I did go a bit heavy on the blusher today, but never mind. I've got to live up to the spikely nature of this top. I had to go somewhere with this makeup because I didn't want to apply eyelashes. So yeah, I think this calls for a celebration. This is, I would say, one of my all-time favourite drugstore foundations. You've seen how it applies, you've seen it on the daylight, you've seen it on the inside, you've seen it under a ring light. And yeah, not only it does it apply flawlessly, but it also has SPF 30 in. So yeah, you're also looking after your skin. There's no point in injecting yourself with Botox 
and fillers and everything else if you're not going to look after your skin when you go outside. So I highly recommend a foundation with SPF in, especially for the daytime. And so that's it for today's video. If you have liked it, then please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite foundation is from the drugstore so that I can try it out for myself. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you again next time.